Hey guys, this is AK back again with another video. Today I am going to show how to design a camera shutter icon in Illustrator. So let's get started. But before I start, you need gradient window, transparency window, align window, and pathfinder window. If you can't see those windows, don't break your computer you just need to go window and make sure those windows are selected now let's start it take the ellipse tool and make a circle with holding shift and alt or option and give this black color for now Then take the polygon tool and hold shift and alter option and create a hexagon from the center of the circle and give this white color. Now select everything and align everything from align window. Now select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle as the hexagon line. Align this really perfect or it will create problem later. To be accurate, you can go to outline mode by pressing Ctrl or Command Y and align this line. Now right click, transform, rotate and rotate this at 60 degree. Then press copy and align this with another corner of the hexagon. You need this line at every corner of the hexagon. Just remember every corner of the hexagon is 60 degree. After make every lines, go to outline mode and make sure everything is aligned perfectly. If you don't know how I came in outline mode, then watch the video again. Now select everything and from pathfinder window select minus front and your camera shutter is ready if you right click and ungroup then you can move each part but you don't need to do that give this a color I'm giving this red color now control or command R to bring the ruler and take a guide here. Make sure your guide is locked, that you won't move it accidentally. Now select only this part and control or command C to copy and control or command F to paste in front. Now with the pen tool add two points. And with the direct selection tool, delete those points. Change the color to see what is going on. You need to delete this point too. Now give this a gradient. From the gradient window, make sure every color is black 
and one point opacity at 100% another point opacity is at 0% and the gradient is coming from the top. You can play with the gradient as your taste but for me I want like this. Now you can hide the guide and the ruler by pressing Ctrl or Command semicolon and Ctrl or Command R. Now right click on the shadow and rotate it at 60 degree and press copy and place the copy at the right place. Do the same thing for all the shadow. If you can't see any shadow, then right click, arrange, then bring font. Now start rotate and place all the shadow. And finally, your camera shutter icon is ready. Now you can group everything and make a solid color in the back and you can do whatever you want with this. So this is it for today. If you like this video let me know by pressing the like button and if you have any question let me know in the comment. And a subscribe is always make me inspired. So please subscribe. See you in the next video.